Hello everyone. Welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. I'm doing another read for you now. Uh, it is a timeless read. Uh, for posterity's sake, it's being recorded on Sunday evening, July 3rd, 2022. Okay. It is a timeless read though. Uh, I don't use the genders and I don't use the signs because we embody these energies all the time. No matter what's in our natal charts, no matter what gender we identify as, it is just energy con contingent on the situation at hand, all right? Um, so take what applies to us the rest. I'll try to make it fit. If this is your read, you're gonna know right away based on the descriptions of the characters in the storyline. Easy peasy, okay? Um, it's a general read, so not every read's gonna be for you. Uh, I will be bringing out the tarot cards. I'll do the description of the cards, you know, their actual interpretations, as well as what I pick up intuitively. I do work with energy. So, you know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some are one. Take what applies. If it doesn't make sense, if it doesn't fit, it should fit nicely, okay? You shouldn't have to think too hard about it. That means it's just not, it's just not part of your story, or maybe it's just not yet time. Who knows, right? But it's just not part of your story, so scrap that part. All right, if I do use the he and, she, he and she pronoun, it's because it's on the cards and it helps to keep it straight in my head. If you liked uh, the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Help me uh, grow this channel and get the messages out to as many people as possible. And I would really greatly appreciate that. I appreciate all of your messages. Thank you for your donations. Those are very much appreciated. I need it at this moment. So I really am truly grateful. Thank you. You're a godsend. Um... Yes, let's start this read. Uh, what this do? Did spirit, well, spirit was kind of talking about a few things before this read, but I think I'll hold off. Again, hold off. Um, this is, seems to be the theme yesterday and today. Refrain. Sit back, think about things, pamper yourself, motivate yourself in other areas of your life. Whatever's gnawing at you, bothering you, try to get your mind off of it, okay? Uh, it won't serve you well because, you know, what you persist, uh, what you resist persists type of thing. Um, you're only manifesting those ne those negative energies into your life. So get your mind off of it. Get some hobbies, pamper yourself, watch a great movie, watch some stand-up, anything elevating your, your vibes. That's good. Dancing, music, upbeat music, not, uh, you know, like death metal or, or, you know what I mean? Sad love songs. No, no, no. Something upbeat that want, makes you want to move, right? Uh, sorry, no offense to the people that do like that type of music, the other types, but uh, it's, it's not conducive to raising your vibrations, okay? Uh, listen to stand up. Watch a funny movie. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Play with your kids, with your grandkids. Um, just laugh. Uh, you know, act as if, you know, act, be a child in your heart. That's what the divine wants us all to be like, okay? Get your mind off of it. Just even for an hour, just do it, okay? Let's start this read. Spirit guides, spirit and angels, thank you. The word Lord. Communication, praise, dishonesty. So 43, 43 is the seven. So seven in tarot is the chariot. So there's awareness, radical acceptance, getting into the driver's seat, um, taking control of the situation, leaving the baggage behind, having the structure, the discipline and, and direction, okay? Knowing what to do, basically, right? Um, it could be movement, it could be moving and or travel, it could be getting a new car, congratulations. <laughs> or just go out for a car drive, go out and change the scenery. Um, but there is some dishonesty here, okay? Maybe somebody's going to come in, communicate with you, and kind of love bomb you. Be careful of dishonesty. Okay? Could have something to do with record keeping, uh, writing a book of some sort, even spell work. So be very careful. Okay? Whatever texts, whatever communication you're getting, be leery. I can't stress that enough. Okay? It's still ongoing from yesterday. The word Lord. Number 43. Why is this here? Let's get some clarity on this, please. Could be some candle magic, magic going on, some spell work. Just be very, very careful. Okay. What is this word, Lord? Have some clarity, please. They're stuck. They, yeah, they don't want me to come out with this. Well, too bad. We're coming out with it, right, Spirit? Word, Lord. 43. Why is this here? Why is this heresy? Yeah. The butterfly. 
relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child in growth. They don't want you to move on. You've trans you've you've transformed into this beautiful butterfly. You're taking you're getting ready to take flight, I think, and somebody doesn't want that. You could be headed if you're not already in a relationship, you will be heading into one. It's gonna evolve, okay, into the next phase here. Somebody's going to help you heal some inner child wounding, possibly. There's growth here, okay, which is beautiful. Moving forward, leaving the rot behind. Bottom of the deck, look what's coming in. Abundance. I knew there was more to it. Keep a positive mindset, what I just say. Manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. Always be grateful for everything, okay, even the hard times. Because without the hard times, you can't move forward, you can't evolve. I know it sounds stupid, doesn't it? But... Count your blessings that you are here, where you are. We're, we're, we're always right where we need to be, okay? Even if it sucks. You're going through a hard time. We all go through it, okay? The ups and downs of life. And it sucks, but it's, it's meant to help us evolve and grow. Once that abundance comes in, once that love comes in, you're going to look back and think, you know what? If I hadn't have gone through what I went through, I wouldn't have been here. It, it would not have brought me here. So we have to look at it in a different way, okay? I know it hurts. I'm not minimizing your pain or your struggles or your traumas at all. I get it. I've, I've been there. Okay, I am there. So just rest assured, okay? I, I do get it. I feel your pain, okay? I'm sending you great love and healing. We're all healing together, okay? We're pulling together. We're healing together. Thank you, Spirit. I'm just cutting the cards. I, I don't cut until they tell me to. First card up. <clears throat> Page of Swords in Reverse. Could be delayed communication. Communication from afar. Or if not, there's been some sabotaging here. Okay. It could be just a child that's very bratty and very disrespectful. Right. But uh, I'm picking up. It's a bit of a sabotage here. Some lies. Somebody was jealous of you. Had a big ego. Spreading some lies, rumor, gossip, and slander. Pettiness. Very petty. Juvenile. Cruel. That's a bully. A bully type of person. Yeah, they... Maybe two children. I don't know. Cast them some dude. Two children. Sabotaging, though, I got page of coins in reverse. Could be some bad financial news coming your way. Pages are messengers. Could be somebody took a big gamble and lost. Um, they're hurting for money. Lazy, didn't want to put the work in. Very disrespectful. Very disrespectful, both cards, okay? Verbally disrespectful. Mental abuse. Verbal abuse. Psychological. Uh, I don't think you're dealing with somebody that's very nice here, okay? Um, if not, then somebody gave someone some bad advice. And or intentionally gave them bad information make someone look bad to make somebody break up lose a home lose a business you know there's haters out there right so somebody could be trying to sabotage your business your relationship your home i don't know take it as it applies okay some really nasty people out there can't be happy for anybody because they can't find happiness within their own worlds right so we have the two of swords maybe you didn't know anything about this there's a stalemate possibly here there's no communication Somebody is mentally conflicted, sitting on a fence, not knowing what to do or what's going on. Uh, there's a veil here put over somebody's eyes intentionally, I believe. But I think it's not just that. I think what Spirit's indicating here is use your intuition. There's the moon here. I think that's the moon. But it's, I think that what Spirit wants you to do is use your intuition. Right? You can't see it because the veil, there's a veil in front of your eyes. You're going to have to use your sixth sense. Something's over. It's over. You're, you've blocked this. You've blocked this communication, this pettiness, this bad information. You've blocked it. It's over now. The world in the upright. There's a major cycle that's ended here. Time's up. Okay? It could have been a season, like a year. It could have been more than that. You know I mean, like you've gone through the months here. Uh, the masks are off. This is freedom. This is, yeah, I am free. Okay, you're on top of the world, by the way. Right? You could be, this could also be online, the, uh, the web here. 
Um, it could be travel and it could be moving. Um, oh, yeah, you're very intuitive. This is the high priestess, male or female, it doesn't matter. Okay, like I said, it could be all these descriptions, some are one, so take what applies. You have a higher wisdom here, higher knowledge. You're it's all knowing, it's a deep knowing. Your third eye is lit. You're, you always protect your your crown chakra, always, okay? There is information here that you have and you know, all right? You're very fruitful. You know you're coming into something very fruitful here, right? There's water here. There's a deep emotion, a lot of nurturing here, right? You've been kind of beneath the surface with something. Something was beneath the surface, but you, you held your head up above the water. That's what it is. You haven't been talking. You're, you're keeping silent until something is over. Because spirit told you to. Spirit told you to keep quiet. And you did. You're very observant. You have a direct connection with source, okay? You have a great balance between the dark and the light. <laughs> yeah, something took a long time here. Knight of Coins in the upright. But the good thing is, is you're very obedient, okay, with the divine, an obedient child, son, and daughter. Um, something took a long time. It, it, something got delayed. But the good thing is, is the Knight of Pentacles, right? It's the slowest moving night in the deck. But it's the only one that makes it to the end. All right? Kind of a race. Somebody is racing you or trying to beat you at something. But um, it's the only one with the integrity, loyalty, and honesty, with the passion, the practicality, the know-how, the wisdom, the carefulness, you know, the determination, the honesty to get it done, whatever this is. What's the uh, world in the upright here and the high priestess here? It could be an online tarot card reader. It's also a tarot card reader. It could be. It doesn't have to be. It's intuition. It's over. More intuition here. Keeping mum. Keeping your head above water. You're resting, taking care of yourself, praying, four swords in the upright, laying something to rest here, being supported by the truth, okay? Maybe four people are going to come tr uh, come through for you and support you with the truth, four, four people, excuse me, four people want to talk to you, could be, that's conversation as well, but you've been waiting, patient, you've been very patiently waiting for justice. Here we go. And justice is here. It could go global. It could be on the news. It could very well be. There's a decision that's been made. For justice to show up, that means karma's in effect here. Okay? Something wasn't fair, wasn't balanced, wasn't right. Um, it was amoral and or criminal. So somebody's getting some justice here. Mm, took a long time, like I said. It's, it, you're making it to the finish line, okay? I know, you're tired, you're tired. Get plenty of rest. As I said earlier, the divine has been healing you, trying to heal you. There might have been some mental wounding, some emotional wounding. You see the light coming down on you. You could have been sick, maybe. I don't know. Or just tired, tired. I get a tired feeling from this. Right? You're just fed up. Or it could be whomever is involved with this wants to put something to rest and bring justice to a situation that was unjust. Take it as it applies, okay? Everybody's stories are different, man. Okay, so we have somebody was holding something back. They were greedy, they were selfish, they were controlling and possessive, codependent possibly. They didn't want to share. Mine, all mine. See that look? <laughs> Trying to protect themselves now. They're holding something back from you, okay? Yep. They wanted to harvest something from you. See that ba basket's in reverse. It's not going to hold anything. It's empty. It is harvest time here, but not for them, okay? See the beautiful golden um, wheat? See the pentacles in the tree? It's ready to get plucked. 
they underestimated you. You're standing here going, yeah, go for it, go for it. I know you can do it. And they do. They did. I think they did whatever they're going to do or what they planned. And you're standing here laughing going, okay, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Bonehead. This is a card of you get what you give, right? They ran out of money. It's the end of the road. It's time to move on. They have to possibly relocate, right? It's ready to harvest. I think they planted... If it's got anything to do with the last stories, I think somebody took some of your money, your investment, and put it in offshore accounts trying to grow and live off the interest, make themselves rich off your money. You know what I'm saying? The, the, look up the old Rothschild story, how they began. That's what they did. They took some king's uh, money and invested it and made money off of it, right? That's how they got rich. So it's a kind of same old story, I think. I think we're still there right but they didn't invest properly they didn't invest where they should have and now they're in a whack of trouble they wanted to harvest you know they were waiting to for for this these investments to mature they're not getting it you are okay <laughs> they're ready to come you're getting the, a big payout here look at this <laughs> they were expecting to be sharing money amongst each other not you six of pentacles in the upright right prioritizing themselves and others before you. But this is fairness, okay? It's a card of fairness. So somebody's coming along and giving you your due. Kind of looks like the clock cogs, kind of, of a clock. So time is up. Uh, they were waiting for you to do something for them, to fall for something, so they can get access to this money. And I guess you held back. <laughs> They're not happy. There's a parting of ways here. There's trust issues. You stayed away from these people. You know exactly who they are. Yes, you do. You saw clearly what they were doing, right? It was all an illusion. It's come to a complete halt. This is death here. It's a permanent ending. It's a profound ending to their money, to their stability and security, possibly a family. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Mystery salt. <laughs> Didn't meet Sherlock Holmes this time, did we? <laughs> Miss Marple. <laughs> uh, I got my uh, trusty magnifying glass there. I don't have a pipe <laughs> or deer. What do you call a deer? A deer hat <laughs> or a cloak? Why is the six of pentacles here? Thank you. Yeah. Wow. This could be a contract, a false contract, three of pentacles in reverse, right? Because if you're dealing with money. So they didn't put the work in. They didn't invest where they should have. They didn't put the work in as they should have. They did. They were lazy, uh, incompetent, if you ask me. That's what I heard. Disrespectful. But it could be uh, ending a collaboration. So obviously these people collaborated to do this behind your back, ending a third-party situation and or a false contract. Yes. They were picking at your money, carving out the slice of your money every time you weren't looking. Thought they were an expert, right? They, no, they're not an expert, okay? Bottom of the deck, again, you knew. This is judgment in the reverse. Poor judgment here on their part. Lack of awareness, lack of acceptance, lack of accountability. They don't want to be held responsible. They were trying to get you to sign a contract, uh, getting them off the hook of responsibility. If anybody ever does that to you and you feel funny on any contract, may I give you this suggestion? I've done it myself, okay? If you feel funny about signing a contract, you're not sure, always sign it, but under duress. Write under duress next to your name. You felt pressured to do so. You didn't have the, all the facts that you should have been given, okay? If you don't have all the facts, don't sign it. And if you have to sign it for whatever reason, always write under duress. So this is bad karma coming back, okay? There's harsh judgments here. Bad judgment. Bad, 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 bad. Because the truth is out. The moon in reverse. Shit. Uh oh Yeah. You're going to be able to tie these people together, okay? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. There's a little crabby at the bottom here. You see that crab? Somebody's in their shell trying to hide, stayed under the surface, behind your back, thinking you didn't know. 
But you get your downloads. You're very intuitive. You kept getting your downloads. So the truth is out. You're losing hope here. Drop the act. That's also drop the act, star in reverse. For me, anyways. I don't, I've never heard another reader say so. But for me, this is drop your fucking act. Okay? Out in public, maybe. Drop your act. They publicly lied. So if this is publicly, publicly lying, this could be slander, libel. It could be any of those things. Okay? They publicly lied. They got caught. There's no retractions. Moon reverse. There's no mistaking this. They can't take it away. Right? In the court of law, it will be upheld. Will of fortune. You have the universe backing you up. See these people trying to move this wheel in their favor? Uh -uh. You can't do this. It won't move in your favor. Sorry. Fools. That's what it is. It's the fool card, right? Like a, That's the fool. I'll show you what, if I come across the fool card. It's four fools <laughs> trying to stop fate and destiny. Well, they can't. Okay? This is a change. Again, it looks like a clock, but it's the seasons, right? You've waited a long time. Many seasons for this. It's now time. Divine timing. Changes here. You're sitting on top of the wheel. See that beautiful pentacle? That's you. You are a gift. And they're not. Knight of Swords. Fast. Something's happening quickly. This is fast communication, fast action. Somebody's circling you. Okay? Bird of prey. Okay? You're keeping mum. See? This mouth part is... The mouth is covered. Uh, angel wings. You have the angels protecting you. See? The might of God. See? Pointing up. As, as above, so below. That's what I just heard. They're circling you. They're watching you. Let them. Let them. Because they're watching you and they're being watched. Watching you. Guaranteed. They're angry. There could be some anger here. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, there's a group here. Friends, maybe. Yeah. They're all drinking. Listening to some music. I don't know. Watching you somehow. They want to hurry up and talk to you, take action, reconcile with you for some reason, celebrate with you. <laughs> sure, they do want to celebrate with you. Wheel of Fortune here. This is gold diggers, okay? All gold diggers, fortune hunters, clout chasers. Wheel of Fortune in the upright. I'm going to put that back in the deck. It flipped over a few times. Wheel of Fortune in the upright, Knight of Swords in the upright, thank you. No, I ain't cheating and or stealing. Really shady business here. Hmm. I got this earlier. They might be wanting to come and see you, okay? Well, lock your doors, lock your windows. They could be peeping through your windows. I know they're spying on you online, but they could be trying to get in your home. There's a magpie. There is, somebody's watching them do this, okay? Or maybe a trying to attempt this. They want to hurt you. They got five swords on their backs. Okay, they'll do anything to get at you. Right? But what they don't know. What do they not know? I think they don't know they're being watched up here. Be very careful, okay? Protect yourself at all costs. Knight of Cups. It could be trying to come at you with an offer of love, an offer of support, something like that. But there's something lying. Huge whales or fish or whatever they are lying beneath the surface. Are they even, sh I don't know, like some sort of shark or something. Yeah, you can't even see, you don't see a face. There's no face in here. There's no head in here. It's just a hard head, hard head, helmet. <laughs> it's a shadow of a person. Line sheet and or stealing, giving their cup of love to somebody else, or they want to come and schmooze you, right? Love bomb you, like we said, communication, praise, but it's all dishonest. Yeah. Seven of Swords in the upright. They want to get out of something. They want to get away with something, and they need you. Yeah, they're losing their home, their, their marriage, their stability, their business. I don't know. There's some sort of foundation there. It's a, the party's over, okay? You're going to find out again, okay? These different people in your life that you didn't think were affiliated are affiliated. And they, they got together just to do this, whatever this is, okay? 
There's no more umbrella for these people. They are connected. I think the dots are being connected. They're all being brought back to one place. These people have no integrity, loyalty, and honesty. They could be very scared right now. They lost control of the situation. They sure did. You're more evolved, higher elevated. You understand. You have a higher perception. You understand what's going on, right? These are all ferocious fighters, right? You're very protected by spirit, okay? Cats are, in, in, in tarot, uh, what they mean are um, protectors in the spirit realm. Fierce, ferocious, and you are very well protected. It could be an ex that's doing this or involved in this. You don't trust these people, whomever they are. Okay? There's a parting of ways here. And now they want to communicate with you. Could be business, could be love. I don't know. It could be family, could be friends. I don't know. It's all different for all of us, right? But if they, if, I mean, even a somebody that's not a lover could try to love bomb you, you know, like overly praise you, and it's so fake and phony, right? Four of Wands in reverse, strength in reverse. There's illusions here. The magician in the upright. They could have been doing some spell work. All right. They have no. They have a weak character. These people. Okay. There's illusions. Just. I think maybe some. Yeah. Let's see. It's illusions. I, I think it's just illusions here. Bottom of the deck. Lack of awareness. Lack of acceptance. Lack of accountability. They're out of control. They can no longer move forward here. Okay. They're weighed down with something. I don't know what it is. They've been stopped because of their lies. Okay? There's no communication, like I said. You stop communication with them. They're heartbroken because they know you see through their illusions and you're breaking free from whatever toxic situation this is. It's over. Death. Yeah. You most likely, like I said, up here with the high priestess, you're very highly intuitive, okay? You have a, this is also having a direct connection with source. This is manifested. You have manifested. You co-created the situation with source, okay? You have everything you need for success. You have the wands, the cups, the pentacles, and the swords. You're very, very focused, okay? And you have, you have conscious awareness that they... This was all an illusion. And you let them fall on their face. You gave them enough rope to hang themselves. I just heard that. Why's the magician here in the upright, please? Let's bring this together for the collective. It's 2755. Magician, please. Where are we going with the magician in the upright? This is a yes card, a success card, by the way. Yeah. They're they're disgraced. They're embarrassed. They want to put this behind them, the Five of Swords. I bet they do. I think they're in a whole whack of trouble. Yeah, they're at a crossroads. They can't go back. They have to move forward. They have to pick a path. They could be looking for a key. You could be the key that unlocks these treasure boxes for them. And that's why it's it stopped. This is a rude awakening for these people. Okay. Could be a money manager, king of coins, could be a husband card, doesn't have to be. This is somebody that's stable, secure, business owner sometimes, uh, doesn't have to be CEO, somebody in a leadership position that makes a lot of money, that, that, that likes the finer things in life. It could be a poser, right? Wanting a life of luxury. Yeah, you're holding back here. You're holding back their wish fulfillment. This is a poser, okay? They're losing hope. You took a leadership position here, okay? You're no fool. You're no fool. You took a leap of faith. You know the truth. You're bringing out the truth, okay? See that fool? I told you it's the same one on the uh, Wheel of Fortune four times, though. Okay, time is up here, my darlings. Time is up, okay? You could be, like I said, uh, you could be a tarot card reader, or they could be getting information off of you uh, through tarot. There's the high priestess again. <laughs> it's over. You got a new beginning coming here. The truth has come out. The hermit in reverse. 
they were manipulating you, emotionally manipulating you. They were, they were emotionally um, <laughs> devoid of emotions, let's say that. They were self-serving. They didn't give a shit about you. I, I hate to say it so bluntly, but the truth hurts, and we have to hear the truth. Sometimes it hurts, yes, but we need to hear it. They didn't give it a damn about you. And now they could be drinking, King of Cups in reverse, male or female, does not matter. Okay? Crying and drinking and, and stewing in their juices right now, right? Because you know your value and worth. Four cups in reverse. Seizing an opportunity. Now they're thinking they're trying to get some liquid courage to seize an opportunity to apologize to you. They're not they're not sorry. They seized an opportunity to cut you out of something, to abandon you. This is an immaturity, insincerity. You stood your ground, though, okay? You're high, higher elevated, like I said. You understood what's going on. They attacked you from many different ways. If this was spell work and any other way, trying to ruin your business, your reputation, you stood strong. You had the advantage. You had source. You had the divine here with you, working with you, protecting you. Poor judgments here, okay? It was a one-sided relationship, whatever this was, okay? This, there's consequences here. Parting of ways. Parting of ways. I'm going to leave it there because we're at 3107. The word Lord. Okay, communication, praise, and dishonesty. Psst. Well, we all know what that means. They could have been doing spell work. I'm saying don't open any communication from them if you know who they are. They could be attaching spells to it. Don't even read it. Okay? Seven. Four is three is seven. Move forward. Okay, there's um, conscious awareness here. You, you are you are aware of what's going on. You're leaving the rot behind. The butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Something's coming forward. Something, Someone or something is coming towards you or you could be leaving, moving, traveling. You're gonna find, you're gonna find a special person here that's gonna help you heal, okay? Okay, you're transforming. This is transforming you, okay? All of this is trans. The more spell work they did against you, I just heard it, made you stronger. <laughs> So you needed these fools to elevate you, to bring you to where you need to go. I'm telling you, it's fate. It was destiny. You needed them, okay? Just like an archer with a bow and arrow. You were the arrow. They were the archer and the bow, and they... Off you go. How are we ending this read, please, spirit guides? Guardian angels dance after the way. I'd imagine if they heard that right now, how angry they would be. <laughs> we have time for a nap. Card number 24. So the lovers are coming in. New lovers coming in. Somebody's going to help you heal, okay? And this is a very special bond. Um, past life soulmate, twin, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Somebody thought they were sly with maybe their moon magic and their lies and their illusions, but they're not. You were protected. See the stars? You were protected by the divine. You are a star, okay? It's beautiful. Time for a nap. Rest up, okay? Because what's coming for you is going to be exciting. Rest up, pamper yourself, you uh, manifest quicker by not thinking about it, by getting your mind off of stuff, doing the mundane stuff every day, okay? Doing your chores, doing hobbies, singing, dancing, resting, right? Time for a nap, meanings, rest, rejuvenation, and renewal, temporary non-action, allowing dreams to arise. There we go. The Oracle's message, this is a time to step away and rest. Let the cares of your world go. Go into a state of non-action and allow yourself to be free of the shackles of your goals, your list, your desires. Nothing is as important as rest, detachment, and neutrality. The overly busy mind can block you from inner wisdom if you don't step back. Take a seat and rest. Be willing to let dreams surface and ideas flow through you, absent of any force or conscious direction as you observe without engagement now wonderful message i hope you like the read please like share and subscribe okay i would really greatly appreciate that and congratulations i'm really happy for you until next time take care